That was the most horrible attempt at a rap. We definitely do. Maybe we should sing this to the tune of a song. No. We Chapter 7, Dig Likes and, and Steps. What song is that? It <laughs> sounds like a robot from the 70s. It's supposed to be a really bad interpretation. A of futuristic robot from the 70s. By Max Brooks. Off to World War Z. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Chapter 7. Take life in steps. Smiling up at the sun, my stomach brought me back down to earth. I wasn't too hungry yet. But now that I'd eaten all I had left, the search for food was to be today's goal. Oh no, it might be. It might occur in this chapter. Um, the first seeds I planted were higher than the others, not by much, but enough for me to try harvesting them. People like sprouts, right? Alfalfa sprouts, Brussels sprouts, maybe there was... Maybe there is a new kind of, uh, I didn't get to finish the thought. The second I touched the shoots, they turned right back into seeds. Alright, I thought, putting them back in the ground. So we just need a little more time, no big deal. There still has to be more apple trees, I reasoned, picking my way up the hill. I just haven't looked hard enough, uh oh's. Uh oh's. This guy made the greatest Minecraft mistake ever just last chapter. I poked my head over the top and came face to face with another giant spider. Uh -oh. Now that I think about it, this is like the worst possible spawn. It's pretty bad. Like, I've... The only times I've ever actually spawned on an island in the middle of nowhere were when I specifically inputted survival island seeds. Specifically. Yes. Intentionally. Every other time... Can you survive on an island in Minecraft? Every other time... With I, only one tree. Every other time I've uh, spawned on in on a huge continent. Most of the time I do too. Wait, there is one Minecraft world where I did spawn on an island unintentionally without having just like inputted a seed. But that was right after Update Aquatic came out and this book canonically takes place before Update Aquatic. So they probably just vamped up the number of oceans in Update Aquatic, so you'd be more likely to spawn on those islands. So I feel like, uh, you know... That's probably what yeah, happened, he got based on your story. He got really bad luck. <laughs> Anyways, Agah! Wait, I put my head over the top and came face to face with another giant spider. Agah! I gasped and stinkingly jumping back. Out of control, I toppled down the hill, bounced off a rock, heard a sickening snap and landed hard on the sand below. Wait, what? That doesn't happen in Minecraft. Mm. Pain shot up my leg. Nope. <laughs> Pain shot up my leg as I hobbled back to the safety of my bunker. This isn't right, I thought, slamming the door behind me. This is daytime! Peering through the door's opening, I waited for a flash of legs and eyes. They never came. I opened the door nervously. Tried to look in all directions, then took a tentative step outside. And that first step scared me worse than any spider. My ankle still hurt. My happy healing wasn't working. Of course, I should have expected this now that my slime was empty, but to actually have it happen was terrifying. The worry rose up on a bubble of realization. I was just a mere mortal now. Any major injury or acts, any accident or attack could be the end. I tried putting weight on my injured leg. White hot nails of pain japed through my ankle. He Ow. somehow broke his ankle in Minecraft. What By was falling off a rock. <laughs> what was I going to do now if I couldn't outrun the spider? Just one of those vicious bites would finish me. Joke's on him. The spider isn't going to bite him, but he doesn't know that nope, yet. Nope, because it's daytime. Yep. But, uh, but, 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 but if I stayed where I was, if I didn't eat, didn't heal, I'd end up just as dead. Although That's a lot more true. painfully and slowly. Grabbing my battered, nearly broken pickaxe and what little nerve I had left, I limped carefully out onto the beach. Nothing stirred up on the hill. I listened for the arachnids' familiar hiss. <laughs> Silence. This time, instead of climbing back up the cliff, I thought it might be safer to swim around it. I paddled slowly past the southern slope, keeping my eyes fixed on the summit. I got halfway around the hill when I spied the tips of two black lugs. I froze in place, treading water as slowly and quietly as I could. The spider crawled creepily into view, its cherry red sensors locked onto me. Uh oh! I swam backward. Here it comes. Ready to make for open water. Wait, swam? But you're on land. Wait, I'm confused. 
<laughs> Whatever. Oh wait. Oh. He was wait. swimming. He was swimming around the hill. Oh. I am a fool. Uh. We right. definitely know how to read things. <laughs> it's in the title. I swam backwards, ready to make for open water. If that thing didn't swim, maybe I'd have a chance to double back to another part of the island. I got a few strokes away before I realized that the arachnid wasn't coming after me. For a moment, we remained frozen, silently trading stairs. That's fun. It's a staring contest <laughs> with the giant spider. Staring contest with me. The video doesn't continue until one of us loses. <laughs> No, you just blinked. <laughs> Blinking doesn't count in this one. What? That's not true. It totally <laughs> does. And you looked away because you laughed. <laughs> no, I didn't. I I'm super away. tricky. I was still looking at you. Nope. I could still see your eyes. Nope. Um, for a moment, we b b clearly it saw me. So why wasn't it attacking? Did the light blind it or was it something to do with the day itself? Spiders yep. only hostile at night. They're yep. only hostile in the dark, actually. Even if it's day, they'll still be hostile in a cave. And if it's really light, they won't be hostile. So if you have a well-lit house and you lure it in there, it'll stop being hostile. Well, if you get if you lure it in there and then get far enough away to de-aggro it, and then when you come back, it'll stop being aggressive towards you. Bye, Shisha. What? Thank, thank you for all that information about Minecraft spiders. <laughs> if I ever wake up in a Minecraft world, I know how to handle spiders. We've played Minecraft so much, I think we'd know how to survive. I do. It'd just be 20 times scarier because we'd and, be forced into hardcore mode. And these aren't even cave spiders that poison you. We watched each other for another few seconds before the eight-legged horde just up and disappeared. No fire, no smoke. One second it was there, and the next, gone. I swam back to shore, my mind flooded with questions. Why had it disappeared without burning? Why hadn't it been dangerous in daylight? And why had it lasted in the daylight after all the zombies had burned? Limping back up the southern beach, I wondered if creepers also lasted longer than zombies. That was the reason I'd nearly been killed by one. I scanned the dense line of trees, making sure one of them was a mottled green. I didn't see any creepers, thankfully, but notice how dark the shaded wood was. Had the creeper been sheltering from the sun? That was true, and there were other monsters hiding under those leaves. That'd be the last place I'd look for food. For, wait, 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 wait. He's st wait. He still has trees? Dude, this island is like 50% forest. Lucky him. I take back that earlier statement about this being horrible. He is, the forest is still 50%. He, the island is 50% forest. Apparently he didn't get... How did you get 50%? All I got was he chopped down a tree and then looked for more trees. <laughs> and uh, found more trees. I mean... He said dense. He says dense line of trees, so that's at least a small forest. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with 51 percent. I'm gonna go with 49. Okay, spin the wheel. One dollar. Wait, that's that's. I was closer. You can't prove that. <laughs> I said 49 and you, you said ma 51. You made that up. And 49 is closer to when? That's not true. Uh, I it's not closer to one dollar. <laughs> it's further away than one dollar. Than Wait. 51 cents. No, you said 51. Yeah. It's closer to a dollar. No, you, you just said 51. I just said 49. Yeah. It's, 51 is closer to a dollar than 49. You can't guess in cents in that game. You can only guess in whole dollars. Therefore, I was closer. That's not true. <laughs> yes. That's not true. We didn't give a denomination for the, for the 51 and 49. Therefore, they aren't any unit. So, therefore, none of us was closer. But they're, lo they're less than a dollar. None of us was closer because they weren't any unit whatsoever. Um... Mm. I limped west across the southern shoreline looking for self shellfish or even seaweed. The beach was completely barren. For the first time I also noticed that I hadn't seen any fish or whales or cereals or anything aquatic besides that sinister squid. You see? Pre-updated aquatic confirmed. Squids really aren't that sinister. Pre-updated aquatic confirmed. In fact, this was before the con.
combat. In fact, this takes place before the combat update because he doesn't have dual wielding. Anyways, coming or that or maybe it's on console version where they never added the dual wielding. Anyways, coming around the edge of the island, southern. Cl I mean, they do have dual wielding in console, but only very specific. Wow, <laughs> you you didn't even finish one <laughs> sentence. <laughs> it's just. Coming around the edge of the island's southern claw, I saw that the water of the lagoon was li as lifeless as the open sea, squishing across its soft clay bottom. Ooh, that is a word. I climbed up onto the northern claw, looked down the beach and spied a plant I'd never seen before. I bet it's sugar cane. It had stalks too, actually. They were light green and tall and growing right out of the seaside sand. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Bamboo? I exclaimed, no. No. But that's what he says. They actually added bamboo in the new update. Wait, <laughs> you don't get to see the screen. I was going to go and show you, but you can't see it. No. Nope. But bamboo is like sugar cane, but there's only one sugar cane on the block, and it's a dark green. I, a I still haven't seen it yet. It's a mystery. I'll show Mimi, and you will describe it as well as you can. <laughs> okay. She's rowing in a boat. I guess that's how you get to bamboo and then jumping off. <laughs> you can't place the bamboo under the water. It does. It gets really tall. And it has leaves. And it looks like bamboo. There's limit to how tall you can... And you can make them really tall. <laughs> yeah, you can make them like all the way up to the world border and you can... Don't okay, they're not a mystery anymore. And they get thicker at a certain point. Do anyway, they grow really fast? I don't know. I don't they should. I don't have the patience to wait for them to grow in the background because we don't get any noises. Okay. No. <laughs> okay, I have to go back into the giant aquarium I made so that I can listen to the dolphins. Because they're cute. Yes. Alright, let us continue. <laughs> That was a very, very random tangent. <coughs> bamboo! I exclaimed, hopping painfully over. They believe bamboo, right? Wasn't it on some menus as bamboo shoes? Wait, what are you supposed to do with bamboo in this game other than give it to pandas? You, you make scaffolding. Oh, that's what it's for. Okay, that makes sense. But this was the mature version, then I can surely find a way to replant it and eat the shoots. Took one swipe at the lower section, and on like trees, the whole stock came tumbling down. I the three section in my left hand, I saw the image of a grainy white pile and I right, don't do it, don't do it. Sugar, I said happily, this isn't bamboo, it's sugar cane. I knew it! After so many failed it how did you okay, how did you know that sugar came from sugar cane, but not know how torches worked? Torches work different in Minecraft than they do in reality. In reality, you have to light him. That's why he kept sticking it in the furnace rather than <laughs> setting it down. Oh. But once he set it down, it lit, and then he figured it out. Okay, he doesn't know what fully grown wheat looks like, yet he knows that sugar comes from sugar cane, and he knows what bamboo is. <laughs> like, excuse me. I, I, I'm sorry, I never checked his resume before we put him in this world by reading the book. <laughs> if I'd have known this would happen, we'd have checked resumes to for better people we could have put in the book, maybe. Less sucky Minecraft noobs. I have to go do a thing. Alright, I'm back and it appears the weather in my world changed from rainy to sunny. Also, there's bubbles. I relocated the boat to be next to bubble columns. Bubbles! Bubbles! Some of the bubbles go up and some of the bubbles go down. I'm not on top of the bubbles though. And there's still dolphins. And also now there's music. So. Yay! And the fish are trying to swim in the gl into the glass. <laughs> and into the bubbles. They're not getting far. That one left. There it goes. <laughs> Where did the salmon got smart and left? All right. Well, let's rejoin our adventurer on the island. After so many failed attempts with the egg, I should have at least half expected that the snail food didn't want to be eaten. But uh, fine, whatever. I thought of stuffing the pile in the two remaining stocks in my patch pack. Bad for my teeth, anyways. <laughs> it totally is. Trying to stay pop, stay positive. 
Stay positive. I wondered if the sugar might still be useful when combined with another ingredient, but what? I couldn't see anything else that remotely ran out of food. No berry bushes, no mushrooms, there weren't even any worms or bugs. And believe me, in the site I was in, I would have gladly munched them down. Ew. Ew. I even tried, uh, well, at least it's not as bad as um some things you can eat. Like tree bark? Yes. Or like puppet tacos. Mm, no. <laughs> or cat tacos. Or no. human tacos. No. What do you think is truly the worst thing to eat? I don't know. I think hemlock is pretty bad. Hemlock. Oh. Okay. You mean I'm okay. The most disgusting, but not necessarily dangerous for you thing to eat. Oh. I don't know. I still think cat tacos. That's pretty bad. Then again, they're dangerous for you to eat because then Mimi might come and murder you. <laughs> and they're dangerous for the cats. <laughs> yeah. Then again, that would mean any meat is dangerous for the animal. Oh no, and the dolphin got stuck in the columns. Oh no. Oh, wait, the dolphin freed itself. The dolphin I think it was playing. Back. They do that. <gasps> of course, they were playing with the bubbles. Yeah, wouldn't you if you were a dolphin? All right. Uh, but, 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 uh, I tried nibbling a few of the bread and yellow flowers growing at the edge of the woods. Not only did they not oblige, but holding them in my left hand gave me the option of turning them into useless dye. How dare you call it yeah. useless? You can dye is it useless? You can dye your sheep and then get in and then you get can a bunch dye of them wool. purple, <laughs> and then you can get a bunch of pretty and wool. red. And then you can get pretty wool. And yellow. And then you can make red and yellow and purple carpet. Yeah. And then you can make pixel art with it. Yeah. Like a giant Eevee from Pokemon. That you can only see from space. That you have to build a giant dirt right, column up continue. like 20 blocks. And you can see it. And hopefully you don't fall off. But holding them in my left hand gave me the option of turning them into useless dye. What else can go wrong? I grumbled just as it began to rain. Had to ask. I moped the warm light drizzle perfectly matching my moves. If you just stayed positive, it would have continued being sunny. Most likely. Limping tensely through the forest, my eyes flicked this way and that. I tried to keep my attention on the trees themselves, not wanting to be lurking behind them. Didn't help when I passed the crater that had almost been my grave. Strangely enough, it hadn't yet filled up with water, even though a sturdy steam was filling in. It was the creeper attack. <laughs> the, all the Minecraft nations lived in harmony until the creeper nation attacked. I might have got, I might have done the joke wrong. I apologize for if I did. Even the water here is weird. I muttered and moved on to try to find an apple tree. All oak trees are apple trees. All of them. Just punch down the trees of the not white ones. <laughs> and you are bound to get apples eventually. Even jungle trees? No. I they're, just mean the oak not trees white. and dark oaks. But this is a normal forest. He's only going to find oak and birch trees, so. It, how do you know? It doesn't say that. <laughs> He's on an island. There might be jungle trees. No, no, because he got apples from trees before. And <laughs> Just one tree. There might be more than one type of tree on the island. If there is a jungle, he would have mentioned it. If there is a snowy biome, he would have mentioned it. If there is a savanna, he wouldn't have mentioned it. So it's all just oak trees? And birch trees. And birch trees. Yep. Because they're white. Hmm? And he said there were white ones. But he also said there were regular brown ones, and he got apple. Well, he might not have said that, but he got apples from some of them, meaning there has to be oak tre trees. Oh no, I have the hiccups. Mimi, it's Oh no. Where are we? Right there. Which I didn't. The only trees left growing on the island. You don't lick your. Don't lick the finger to open. To turn the page. Fine. <laughs> I'm gonna start over. <laughs> okay. Which I didn't. The only trees left growing on the island had muted leaves and black and white bark, which kind of reminded me of birches. 
He destroyed all of the non-birch trees. Are you I could kidding? find one single apple tree, which I now called oaks, because I didn't want to think of apples anymore. And I was taken for granted that there had to be at least one more oak tree nestled somewhere in the forest. I figured, hoped, that I just wasn't looking hard enough. Mm. Now I'd run out of excuses, and there was nowhere left to go but forward. Maybe perches also have fruit? I wondered, grasping at straws, which, by the way, I also would have to try, have tried to eat. Mm. Maybe they've got knights or acorns or something. Did I say knight? Whatever. <laughs> With growing desperation, I punched out a few blocks of the nearest tree, whipped up a crafting table, and then a stone axe. He's getting pretty good at that. Look, he did it all in like one sentence. It didn't take wow. like a paragraph and or two pages. <laughs> I laid into the birches around me like a madman, swinging at trunks and leaves. Nothing came down except more logs and a white-flecked sapling. It's okay. I said, trying to stay cool. Maybe the species just has fewer nuts, that's all. Just gotta keep looking. Pocketing the logs, I placed the useless sapling on the ground and gave a startled shout as I suddenly grew up right in front of me. Chopping down that one turned out to be fruitless as well. Yeah, but now you have all the wood you'll ever need. Maybe this one. I grunted, turning to the nearest birch. Um, or maybe this one. Frustration growing into fear, I cut my way through the forest. This one. I huffed, getting halfway through another tree before my axe snapped. Oh, congratulations. I think you can cut down way more than three and a half birch trees with a stone axe, but okay. Maybe it's an axe of unlucky. Wait, wait, he did Luck break... minus 20. Wait, he did break the leaves too, so I probably wasted like all of his durability on that. Fool. How do leaves take up more durability than the actual logs? <laughs> because the uh, because the axe isn't made to cut leaves, Mimi. <laughs> it's called Minecraft logic. Of all the times, I suppose it does have a, a whole totally different type of logic. <laughs> it's called video game logic, Mimi. I mean, it has bubbles that go down. <laughs> I know, right? I've never seen that. Except in the other worlds. I mean, to be fair. But not, not here. I mean, to be fair, maybe the bubbles are being sucked down by the something. Twisting back to my crafting table, I forgot about the injured leg. <laughs> Ow, that is really loud. <laughs> <You sp> <laughs> Make a new one. I will it's the American way. Are you kidding me? I can't even put the boat once it hits the surface. It's the Minecraft way. What? I just can't see the boat. <laughs> but normally you can stand on top of the boats just fine. Minecraft is dumb. Okay, you're good. Moral of the story Minecraft is dumb. No, it's not. <laughs> Don't say that. It's totally fun and awesome. Okay, it's fun and awesome, but it's just weird. <laughs> yes. And sometimes it doesn't make any sense. And you're like, what is going on here? The logic. Why is this happening? Okay. The logic is dumb, but the game is great. The logic is not dumb. It's just silly. <laughs> it has its own silly logic. Like how you Now there's a sea turtle playing in the bubbles. It's going up and down and swimming around in circles and going up and around. We look at that sea turtle. It's really having fun. We really should do a Minecraft series. We were doing a Minecraft series and then we decided not to do it because we were like, no, nah, Minecraft ain't popular enough anymore. Not not to do it. We can continue it later. If um five people in the comment section request for us Only to five? That's, prob that's probably actually pretty good. Yeah, 
If five people in the comment section are like, no, do the Minecraft series, then we're going to do it. And you'll be able to watch us play. Yes. And comment on our play. And get mad at us if we do anything the tiniest bit wrong, because, you know, that's how the internet works. Oh, it's going to happen. Guaranteed. And Anyways, continue on. Twisting back to my crafting table, I forgot about the injured leg. Agonizing sparks erupted from my ankle. What? I've never had that happen. <laughs> How does that work? I, I think it's called being very descriptive. I slumped against the half-cut tree, choking back tears, waiting for the throbbing to cease. I could deal with the injury, but not with the pain. How could anybody, feeling this way every minute of every day, how would you not go crazy? Isn't that why my world had whole shelves of different pain pills? Even if you weren't better, at least you felt that way. And right now, that's all I wanted. Wait. He, I don't think he just sprained his ankle. He might have actually broken his ankle. Oh yeah, I think he broke it. If it hurts it. that bad, it might actually be like legit broke. If there's agonizing sparks erupting from it, he he must have cut a wire and the electricity in his leg is loose and it's like sparking around him wildly. Like Plus. zip, 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 zip. Plot and twist. I'm gonna electrocute anybody that comes near this ankle. Plot twist, Steve is a robot. It's not Steve. I think it's Steve. Plot twist main character of this book is an android. It's future Steve come back who sent himself <laughs> into the past to stop himself from becoming a evil robot and he has to do it through virtual reality Minecraft. It's a, it's a thing. But it's totally happened in, in at least 50% of all parallel universes. Everybody knows this. It's totally true. Of course, there's infinite parallel universes, so you know. Yeah, everything happens in at least 50% of them. Yep. It's simple. That's all. Everything happens in and the other 50%? It doesn't. But sometimes it's not, and then it has to go back the, the right way. And then it's, it's back to 50 and 50. Not 49 and 51, which 51 is totally closer to a dollar. 51 dollars is further from a dollar than 49 of them is. Make it stop, I whispered. Please, please just make it stop. Clack, clack, clack. Came the sound of an approaching chicken. I think the cluck, cluck, cluck gave that away. Get out of here. I barked. Waving the annoying bird away. The chicken looked up at me for a second, laid another unbreakable egg, then stubbornly pecked the grass at my feet. Beat it! I growled, waving my hands right in front of its face. I didn't need this right now. Didn't need to see another creature eat. Didn't need to be reminded uh -oh. of how delicious cooked chicken tasted. Come on now, I mean it. Go! I commanded, uh, okay, I commanded <laughs> shuffling over to my crafting table. He loves that crafting table. And it continued to follow me, pecking away while its clucking rang in my ears. Go! I shouted, my fist clacking it in the beak. <laughs> Bucked the bird. Sprit that was a pretty good one, by the way. It sounded just like <laughs> it. Like I was actually listening to Minecraft what? chicken. You want to know an even better uh, impersonation of a Minecraft chicken getting injured? Okay, hold on. I need to leave my boat to open my inventory because of Minecraft logic. Yeah, let me get like all the really common mobs so we can easily do their noises. So far, all I all this guy did was punch a bird in the face. All right. <laughs> Go! But the bird I shouted, was attacking my fist clacking in the beak. The chicken barked the, the bird, <laughs> sprinting away in a flash of red. I didn't mean. I started guilt, quickly replacing anger. Moo! Came a friendly sound to my right. I looked over at the familiar eyes of the cow. In those eyes, in that serene face, I found the centering I needed. Yes, that serene, derpy face. <laughs> like, like a Buddha cow. <laughs> I know. 
I sighed. I gotta get a hold of myself. Moo! It agreed. I gotta remember. I continued. That no one's ever died of a twisted ankle. It is broken. People might have died of a broken ankle. Yeah, well, he thought sugar cane was bamboo. Okay. Fair point. <laughs> and if the sprouts grow into food, then they'll take care of that. That's you talking. <laughs> you do the voice. Oh. Uh, Again, the cow gave an agreeable... <laughs> not sat, a... No, a moo. <laughs> yeah, a cow was an... If it was a moo. Because... Cows aren't always helpful when you want them to be. <laughs> I mean, you never know. You can try. Try to get a cow to moo, but sometimes it just sighs. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Yep, the cow just nodded at me. It did. It totally sighed. It said, yep, words of wisdom by a cow. Wait. I could feel myself calming down. My breathing returned to normal. Here I am, acting like I did that first day, when, well, look at all the progress I've made since then. I gotta remember the progress, and then vowing me to you the day I almost got lost at sea. Moo! Hey! Said the Wait. cow, which prompted a quick correction. It did the thing! Oh no, I think I killed the baby cow from fall damage. Okay, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe it was your friend I was talking to who got killed by the keeper. And I'm sorry about the steak thing, by the way, but you know I was hungry and it was already dead. And well, anyways, back to the vow. I started pacing again, just like I had that first day with the cow, <sighs> albeit with a pronounced shuffle. I told myself that I had to figure out all of the rules of this world, but I get to now that I've got to go further. I've got to figure out these rules for myself. Moo! Ask my bovine foil. No, I don't just mean the lessons I've been learning, I said, or having grand strategy like we talked about. I need a methodical way to achieve that strategy. Detailed discipline of specific steps for each individual task. I stopped and turned on my good heel. I know that's a lot of big words, but what they boil down to is that I need to, to know not just what I have to do, but how I'm going to do it. Moo! Time. Yeah. Time to the cow. Finally getting what I was saying. Isn't that what gets people who like back in my world? I asked. They get up every day and already know how they're going to face that day, and that's what I mean. It's called perspective. I added that. That's not in the book. Pi is adding the cow noises <laughs> by playing Minecraft. And <laughs> summoning cows. And summoning cows. Yes. And then dropping them off of a, a glass aquarium. Because she's totally evil. <laughs> Do you all know this? You've heard our episodes before. One of you eat grass! So we have... There is no grass. Okay, fine. You know what? I will create grass It's just sheep. astroturf. It's like fake, fake grass. Well, you know what? And the cows are going to play football on it. I'm going to find my own way to achieve a munching sound effect. Okay, that's what I need. A sheep? Shh. A shep? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It'll and work. you cut its hair? It doesn't have any, any It'll work. hair. Don't trust. It'll work. Just trust wool. me. Wool. It's called wool. Sheep have wool. Keep reading. You use them to make beds. <clears throat> As the cow took a quick grass break, I kept pontificating. And I need to start with our strategy to cover the basics, right? Food, shelter, safety. So I got shelter and the food. Well, I just figured out that there's nothing left to eat on this island other than the sprouts that need time to grow. But safety, I held up my wounded throat. The whole reason I'm panicking about food is because I can't hyperheal anymore. But I wouldn't need to if I knew more about the creatures that can hurt me. <laughs> Said the cow, which I took for... Okay, oh. I'm with you, but what does that have to do with your new method? I'm getting to that, I said. I said. If I can study the creatures from a safe place and figure out where they come from, how they hunt, and how long they last when the sun comes up, I can keep out of trouble long enough to get a handle on food. At that moment, the rain ceased. I looked up at the sun, then down to the hill, then back over to the cow. I've discovered how to make glass, so what if I built another room into the side of this hill to safely study the creatures? And... 
I placed the fence wrong. And, uh, and that... I held up a triumphant fist. Is where the method or the way? Do you know D-Way? I had to. I know the meme is dead. Comes into play. <laughs> that was a long sentence. <laughs> bah! Said the white sheep ambling over to us. Incorrect, that sheep was black and then I sheared it. And it's still black. But it didn't make a bah, that was me. It did make, it did make Like a that. But you were talking I hear a cow. But, That's but a cow. it just regrew its wool without eating any grass. What is this nonsense? It's, it's magic. Will you explain it to him? I asked the cow, limping back toward the hill. Behind me, I could hear the sheep's confused and the cow's exasperated. <laughs> take it in steps, I shout out my shoulder. I gotta take life in steps. And that was our horrible read. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not horrible, but. It wasn't horrible, it was fantastic. We got distracted trying to get sound effects. No, you did. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of chapter seven. See you next time for chapter eight called The Way. Do you know D-Way? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye.